If you're looking for a no-nonsense guide to creating a profitable video membership, you're in the right place. This five-step guide to building a membership website is part technical, part practical, and entirely focused on helping you build the best version of your business. And the first step is validating that there's demand for a membership like yours. You might be the best tinfoil hat salesman in the world, but if no one wants to buy tinfoil hats except for me, the quality of those hats and your sales skills just won't matter. Other memberships already existing in the niche is a good sign of demand, and it's healthy for a business to have competition. But whether you're in a popular niche or if you have a unique type of content with no real equivalent on the market today, I'd suggest looking to your audience for validation as well. If you're making videos here on YouTube, that demand might already be obvious with your subscribers asking for more. Adjuster TV Plus is one of those memberships with a small niche and very few similar businesses. The founder, Matt Allen, started with a YouTube channel, and when people continually asked for more in-depth videos, he saw that there was demand for an independent insurance adjuster training membership. Your audience is the foundation of your membership, so we also need to define who your customer is. How old are they? What kind of jobs do they have? What do they want? And what kind of problems are they looking to solve? Surveys and scheduling one-on-one -on -one conversations to find these answers are two of the most valuable and investments that you can make in your membership's future because they can show you what messaging will be the most appealing. Filmmakers Academy is a resource platform for filmmakers and they're positioned that way because of what they learned from a customer survey. They had been presenting their content as a masterclass format, but they discovered that framing it as a resource platform made the membership more appealing to their audience. They also discovered that most of their audience identified as professional filmmakers rather than hobbyists. That extra knowledge of their customer base means that filmmakers Filmmakers Academy can tailor their marketing, their content, and their community to their members' actual needs. Step three of the membership building process is to plan the content. And yeah, we're gonna do this step before shopping for a platform because this step will help you determine what features your membership site absolutely needs and what it doesn't. That knowledge will save you time when choosing a membership platform by eliminating the ones that don't offer your most essential features. And it will save you money by ensuring that you start with the right plan for your business. There are two types of content we need to talk about, active, and passive. You can think of the active part like a regular day job. You need to be there and be putting in effort. For example, hosting webinars, coaching sessions, and other similar things. Consider the dog's live Q&A sessions are a huge draw for new members. And they're an active part of the membership because the trainers hosting the Q&A obviously need to be there. On the other hand, the passive parts of your membership are the ones that are not a one-to-one -one ratio of your time to member benefit. Most of your membership video catalog will be in this passive category. Elite Guitarist, for instance, uploads new lessons to its content library, and that's it. There are no live sessions. Instructors show up, record the lesson, edit, and upload it to the Uscreen platform so students can get the benefit of those videos whenever they want. Passive doesn't mean there's no work. Creating content that's valuable on a consistent basis is still high effort, but it draws on your resources in a different way than the active part. Too many membership owners dive into running the business without a content plan. So taking the time now to plan for content will prevent a mad dash to get something out and leave you more present for your members and for yourself. How much active time can you actually spend interacting in the community, live streaming, or doing other special events for your members? Is it a daily community? check-in and one live a month, only you know the answer that'll fit your business and a balance of the two types will keep you from burning out. Next up is the moment we've all been waiting for, watching all of your ideas come together into a beautiful membership site. Here's where we actually get to design your website and it's a lot easier than you might think if you're using the right tools. With Uscreen, you can choose from best in class website themed templates and customize them. Or if you already have a website, you can think of it like building an addition to your house. Your Uscreen site can be added as a subdomain and seamlessly become part of the offering that your audience already loves. Regardless of how you're building your site, you want to include these four elements at a minimum. A home page to tell visitors about the offer and encourage them to sign up. A call to action to sign up to show visitors pricing plans and a way to join. About us to share your story and connect with potential members and a contact us page to give people a way to get in touch with you. Whether their individual pages or all four elements are incorporated into a home page, these elements will lend your membership site credibility and a professional look. If you plan to have your own apps at 
any point in the future, you'll also want to ensure you have pages dedicated to your terms of service and privacy policy. Then use the content management system to upload and organize your videos in a way that's intuitive for your audience. Some of our successful customers like Cara Duval have a welcome category that's meant to guide new members into the catalog, which is especially helpful as it grows over time. Our next step in the process might just be the most exciting one, launching your membership and then growing it through strategic marketing. Data shows that the primary sources of new members are content marketing with things like blog posts and videos, email marketing, social media, and word of mouth. I could go on for a long time about ways to market your membership site, but I'll stop right here because this conversation with a marketing expert is a masterclass in the tests you need to run to grow your membership. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.